everyone, today is Sunday and I'm just going down with the girls to get some breakfast. Yeah. Today I'm really happy because I'm wearing my new outfit, which is this really pretty green top. So let me just move my hair. It goes across. I've got this really nice black skirt and some tights on. So yeah, and the, the girls aren't dressed yet. I'm going to wear my, um, my mermaid top that I got from yesterday. Yeah. And my black leggings and then I've got my silver trainers that I wear. It's well, we're, we're having these. Okay. Um it was we've actually got such a good day planned today, so we're going to the shops and um, going to go shopping. So obviously we're going to be doing some normal shopping, just going to see things, going to maybe get some things. But we're also going to be doing a really fun awesome challenge um one of the challenges is going to be on iphone extras and the other challenge will be on my channel i'm not going to explain what we're going to be doing guys you've got to head on over to our channel with iphone extras and sassy about to see what's going on so now that we've all finished having our breakfast i'm going to get ready for the day I want to push all the limits with you right now So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight Okay guys, Chris just dropped me and the girls off at the station and we are heading into Leeds for a super fun girly day Also guys, I just got to mention this because no doubt when the vlog goes up there'll be loads of comments I just filmed a Sunday with Sarah with the most horrendous eyebrows I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I can't do eyebrows, it's no, it's no joke. But, on my Sunday with Sarah, they were so odd. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> not even funny. And I didn't notice it until I was editing the video. And because we're going out today, I didn't have time to refilm it. And so, it's tough, guys. Enjoy. Enjoy those odd eyebrows. So me and the girls are feeling so excited. I want to show you her sparkly trainers. They're super cool. Are they comfy? Mind when the sparkling sun. Oh like my goodness! Let's have a look then at these rainbows. Look at mine sparkling sun. Ooh. And then Isabel's got on her shoeses because yeah. Oh my gosh, girls, we're so excited. We're going out for a girly day, and everyone's in good moods. And we're also going to film a challenge. So who's excited yeah. for the me. challenge? Can I say what we're going to do? No, you can't tell me, <gasps> Ivan. You can't tell them yet. It's got to be a surprise. So today it was supposed to be, or not supposed to be, but was originally planned to me to be just me and Isabel however because we had a girly day yesterday where we got to go out together and have so much fun and Esme and Isla they didn't miss out because they were with granny and grandpa and they absolutely loved being there and they love going to granny and grandpa's and obviously they got some new shoes and the little tops and things but yeah because I spent the day alone with Isabel yesterday I thought today it would be nice to invite Esme and Isla along too and in fact they asked can we come and I couldn't say no so we're all going, all four of us Ingham girls. And sadly, Daddy's at the old house, isn't he? I think he's feeling a bit not too happy just because the weather's so nice today. And it is a shame, but it has to be done. We've got until, I think one day this week to get rid of that house. So those big items really need to be out of there before that time. Just waiting for the train and we'll see you guys when we get into Leeds. which is why it's quite loud with people pulling all their luggage from their weekends away but we're just heading over to the Trinity Centre and I'm thinking girls that we should probably film our challenge that we're going to do first what do you girls reckon yeah. so we're going to film our little challenge first and then when we've done that we're going to have a wander around the shops try on some clothes and basically <laughs> Just have a fun little girly day. So guys, I'm just going to the upstairs bit right now to have a little look at some of the clothes up here. I really like this top, it's really nice. I like the red one as well. They're really pretty. Ah, here we go. This is the section I need to be in. Look at this top right now. Actually says sassy. Like, so cool. These bottoms are so cute with this, that, with them. Yeah, they'd probably fit me. They're so nice. They'd even go with this white top here. Not like these nice crop tops. I really love this top. We've also got some nice hoodies here. A black one, like a pinky on top of it. A blue, and I've already got this blue one actually. So, these are really cute. Oh my gosh, I love these tops. 
These are really nice. Oh, these ones are nice. Well, it's like this one down here. These sort of cross ones. Guys, we're twinning right now. Twins. I love this shop so much. I'm actually really nervous because I don't know what the girls are doing downstairs. Like, they could be... They could be getting me anything right now. I wonder. Okay, so we're just in new look, changing rooms, and Isabel's just trying on some new clothes. And this is the first. I think that looks really nice. Is. Okay, this is outfit number two, which, what do we think, Izzy? I like it, yeah, I do like it. It's really nice. So guys, we're just going into Claire's now. That's so cool, so this is like a little thing that you wear on your head. That is, wow, that is so cool. I love those cat ears as well. Wow, they're so pretty. So we're just in Claire's accessories and Isla's having a little look at the fashion glasses and the sunglasses. You've got so many pairs of sunglasses, babe. There's some really nice ones in H&M that I saw the other day actually. These fashion ones are cute. Do you like those purple ones? Oh yeah, I like those. I like those. Do you like both of those? Let's try them on, see how cool they look. Go on then. Oh my goodness. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, it's actually little shells. That's well cool, Esme. Goodness, Esme, what are you doing? So we just finished up in Claire's accessories and the girls decided they were hungry and we all agreed that we were going to head to walk on because we've not been there for ages and we all fancied some noodles. However, we walked all the way there and it was closed. <laughs> so we've ended up with a chocolate bar instead. We do still have one thing left to get for our challenge and as it's a Sunday, the shops close early and it's about 2 p.m. now. So we've only got two hours before the shops close. So we're going to head to River Island, but it looks like we're going to do a detour in Smiggle first, then River Island, then Primark, if we've got time, and then hopefully we'll have time to get something to eat before we go home. Wow, girls, look how cool this looks. It's just like an absolute blast of glitter. Fab. I just thought you could get a new lunchbox, which is something you've been after for ages. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think she's already found one. Gold? That yeah. is quite cool. That is so cool. That is quite cool. I am oh, Isabel's wrecking the shop. And there's 25% off, guys, so that's quite good. <laughs> there's so many lunch boxes here. Yeah, but you have school dinners. <laughs> yeah, but every Friday I like them. Okay, but we're not buying a Smiggle lunch box for a Friday. <laughs> These ones are cool, Les. Look at that one. Whoa, what's that one? Has that got three zips? Or is it just really thin? Let me see. Whoa, that's cool, isn't it? I like that. But I still love this one. But you still love that one the best? Yeah, I really like this pencil case too. Okay, look at all the different boxes. Whoa, that's like a mermaid one. It reminds me of like a dolphin or... Now yeah, you're, I still like this one. You're, oh, no, there's no dilemma, guys. She knows what she likes. Make sure there's no others. <laughs> you could even have something like that, you know? Like a... Oh, that is a lunch bag anyway. Look. I'm a lunch bag. No. No. You know what you want, and you know what you want. <laughs> so it turns out it actually wasn't 25% off in Smiggle. It was just 25% off the birthday pack, which I probably should have read, but I didn't. Esme, I couldn't get to the till and say, no, you're not having it. So Esme still got a lunchbox. It was £18. <laughs> it's all good. She's happy, and she did need a new lunchbox because she's currently using, is it My Little Pony? But it's quite an old one, an old one of Esme Island. The frozen one. Anyway, it's an old one, so she's got her new lunchbox. She's very happy with that. And now we're heading on over to River Island. Okay, guys, we're just in River Island, and Esme has found this. That's quite cute. <laughs> Esme's acting like it's actually her life. <laughs> oh my god. That's Esme has found the most. <laughs> Esme, you're so expressional. You're hilarious. That's too big. It's too big. Oh, there's 
no other sizes. <laughs> So good job it's a raincoat because she's about to cry a river. <laughs> Guys, shopping with three girls is literally. <laughs> that's what I'm going for. That's what oh, is it, Isla? Is that what you're going for? Mm -hmm. Look. Don't think there's any size 10 to feel. Uh, actually, they're really nice, though. Brown ones as well. They're really nice. Oh my goodness. Now I'm starting to realise how Chris feels when he's shopping with me. <laughs> My back's killing, my feet are aching. The girls are absolutely loving life right now. They're in these two changing rooms and I'm just sat here waiting for them to come out and show me their outfits. So Isla just came out in this very pretty pink dress. Mmm, I can't decide that. I think it might be a bit big. So this big gap here. <laughs> okay, so Isabel's tried on this, which I think looks really nice. I really like this thing over so nice for like, like, going out in general, and also like for some of our I think it's a little bit too nice for just going out in general. But yeah, but I think like for barbecues, like in parties, summer, and parties barbecue. and barbecue. Like You're right, Esme. Yeah. Is it not fit? Oh, does it not fit? So, no, that's not good, boo. Definitely not. Too big. No, those dresses are too big. No. It's a really nice colour, that is. I really like this as well. I really love it. It's really nice, that. Do you like that? That's really yeah, nice. Sweet. I like it. That's really nice. It's like a picnic dress. Yeah, it is. It's really pretty. Yeah. As my fan, these ones that she really likes. And then we've got Isla Thumb, very similar. Hers have got a black strip instead of the rose gold or the pinky colour. I don't know if they're a little bit too grown up for a six year old. Esme, you look like a clothes tree. <laughs> Are we going to pay? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to get in the queue? Keep going, keep going, keep going. So we just finished up in River Island. Sadly, there were no shoes for Isla. My children have got such slim feet. Even the size below what she usually is were way, way, way too big for her. So <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. What? You two look like too cute. So we've just popped into next to see if there's any like little, we're looking for like summery shoes. They've got loads of trainers and pumps and things and obviously Granny bought them trainers yesterday. However, they don't have like summery sandals and obviously the ones from last year don't fit anymore. The only one they do have is the ones they took to Florida with them. You did, you got some sketchy like, ones. But we're looking, and they're super comfy those ones. So they are fine and they are good, but we're just looking for more, like if we go to parties or anything, they've got some nice, like nice sandals. <laughs> oh. Okay. My goodness, they're prettier, yeah, but they're way too big. Isla got this hat from, where did you buy this hat from? River, no, not River, Claire's, Claire's accessories, it's very sweet. The girls are all about the sparkle today. Oh my goodness, we shopped until we dropped, guys. We literally just made the Primark till before the shop closed at five. We got to the till at like two minutes to five. Esme got herself this unicorn bag. How pretty is that? Esme, I was just about to say, I think you might have a bag obsession. I Oh, she does like. <laughs> but to be fair, guys, Esme does have does like she didn't need a new bag, but it's one of those things that she absolutely loves, and I know she'll get loads of wear out of it because she has like three bags here, three or four backpacks, maybe even more. She wears them all the time. Like every time she goes out, she uses some for school, some for PE some for swimming and it will definitely get loads of use and it was only eight pounds that one from Primark so it was great so we've come into TGI Fridays so we're all going to get a bite to eat before heading back home to daddy I've missed him today dinner just arrived and the girls are way too hungry they're tucking straight in <laughs> and there's like yeah they also brought this cute flower balloon which is just sat there nicely in the middle so Isla's gone for a pasta like a tomato based pasta which looks very nice is it good Isla? How does it taste? So good, guys. They've gone for a chicken wrap. How's it, Izzy? Is it really delicious? Good, good. And then I went for my usual, what's it called? Buffalo wings. No, it's not buffalo wings. It's sesame seed chicken with a delicious sauce. And it looks so good. And it came with chips. Delicious. Back where we started the day, ready to go home. We had a half an hour or 20 minute wait in the station. Love it. So the girls got me to take them for a muck flurry. <laughs> a muck flurry. And we're about to head back off home and daddy's going to meet us at the station. Yeah! <laughs>
What's up? What's up, guys? <laughs> so close. I love. What's up, babe? Now? Looking very cool. Love the backwards cap. Looking good, babe. What's up, guys? Just you alright? Why is this about on the floor? Um. Get me. You like girls? We've got so much stuff for me. I've got the good you got the most stuff, I see you've got some big old bags from Smiggle there. Yeah, you had lots of fun. They got oh, some yeah. oh yeah. Very nice. Yeah, well that's, that's what it's nice. all about, girls, right? If you had yeah. lots of fun, that's all that matters. I didn't get anything, not even one thing, but I'm desperate for a brew. That's all I want. Okay, good. Is a brew. Pajamas, a onesie, and a brew. Yeah, let's go home and do that right now. We just got back home and Chris is just busy ordering himself some food because not to eat today, man. he's not eating today, been grafting so hard. Esme is literally having the time of her life right now trying on all her outfits that she bought today. Honestly, she walked into my bedroom with her outfit like this. Mommy, look at me, look at me. <laughs> Isabel's popping hers away that she bought today and she's just singing hey, her babe. head off. So Isla got some nice jeans from Primark. Did you just tell Esme? Yeah. The queen is coming. No, the sassy, sassy queen. queen is coming. Come on then, Esme. Can we show daddy? Daddy, close your eyes. Is he peeking? Whoa, you look so pretty, Esme. I love it. <laughs> Girl hero, yeah? Yeah. So That's her so top, nice. just in case anyone watching this thinking, where did she get that from? The ears or right. floral ear things are from Primark. And the shorts were five pound from Primark. Her top was 10 pound from River Island. And her shoes, I think they were 20. Oh, no, she goes in a pattern. Are they 20 pound or 22 pound? <laughs> they were 22 pound. That's such a cute outfit. Why don't you go and put your other top on? Yeah, I'll go put my other top on. Daddy? Open. <gasps> Whoa, what a jacket. That's so snazzy, Isla. <laughs> and I've got um, that hat back when, when um, we was at my train station, that hat. I bought that today, too. That makes some cool <laughs> noises, Isla. I love it. Feel it. It feels like it's so weird. Wow, it's like a proper uniform jacket. Yeah. So, if anyone's wondering, this was also from River Island. It was £15 in the sale, and they had quite a few, didn't they? And then she's got some little jellies because she was desperate for jellies, and like literally desperate for some. And, and these were three pound from Primark. And these are oh, Isla's other shoes, which were also from Primark. But were these seven pound? And they're kind of like rainbowy, kind of like a jacket. Her ears or pom poms were one pound fifty from Primark too. Oh my gosh, Esme is about 15 right now. Wow, you look amazing. Oh, I forgot about those ears. You've got two pairs of ears, you little monkey. I forgot about those ones. Okay, so she's got her backpack on, which is from Primark. That was £8. And she's got her top on, which is crushing. <laughs> but that was £12 from River Island. These ears were actually from Claire's Accessories and they were £7. Very lucky Beautiful. Girls. So Isla has just been watching Jamandi. Jamandi. Is it good? Yeah. It's almost time to brush them little gnashes. I haven't watched it all yet. You're not, I know it's not finished just yet. <laughs> <laughs> and get ready for Bex's school tomorrow. It's the start of a new week. Gymnastics, yay! You start gymnastics tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Are you excited? I just wanted to show you before I go upstairs and get myself comfy and cosy. I had a lovely, lovely lady message me a few weeks ago, I think it was. Um, Anna Lou of London. I don't actually know if it was her, probably not. But you never know, you never know. Asking if she could have an address to send some jewellery to that she'd made for me. And it's a personalised necklace. She sent me one and it arrived. It came in this cute little bag. So I'm about mm. to open it and see what it looks like. So, dear Sarah, here's a lovely keepsake just for you. Hope you like it. Love, Anna. And it's from here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Comes in this cute little box. That looks pretty. <gasps> oh my goodness! <gasps> oh my goodness, guys, look how beautiful this is! <gasps> it's got silver, gold, and rose gold, and it's got all what of is, the girls' names on it. My color? Rose gold, that one. <laughs> that is so beautiful. I love that so much. I absolutely love that. That's so kind and generous for you to send that to me and I appreciate it so, so much. So a big thank you, Anna. 
Just said goodnight to the girls and luckily I went on to Instagram and saw but it looks as though some of you guys have taken or saved Esme's musicallys that she's done this evening and posted them to Instagram and put lovely comments like you guys always do but I just showed it to Esme as she was going to bed and she was so excited literally like oh, look at those lovely comments it's so cute she's just she absolutely loves doing musicallys it's so so sweet I do obviously keep an eye on her account because she's not quite old enough to have it on her own so we do keep an eye on that account for her but it's so lovely and she just loves doing it so so much and she absolutely loves all of your guys lovely comments and she'll often run downstairs and say mommy mommy look at this comment and then she'll read it out to me and it's just so sweet so all of you guys that are supporting Esme on Musical.ly thank you so much it's a massive massive boost to her confidence I feel like sometimes being the middle child she's always trying to find her thing and she just she's just so energetic and amazing and she loves like dancing and singing and she, like last year for their dance performance last July I remember me and Chris watching and obviously we're proud of all three girls like they all did amazing Isabel was so nervous because it was her first show and obviously starting dance later in life like she did it's a bit more difficult to try and keep up to the other girls she did amazing last year and she made us so proud and then Isla she's been doing dance since she was 16 months old so I think was it her third it was a fourth show I I think last year her fourth show so she knew exactly what she was doing she wasn't nervous at all because she'd done it so many times but that made me proud even more just because she was only five and she was up there like full of confidence and then Esme I remember just thinking oh my gosh I hope she's going to be okay because she kind of told her she didn't really know the dances she wasn't right confident and I remember her teacher saying oh Esme's not picking up a couple of the dances I think you need to just film her and then say take the footage home and let her like rehearse and we didn't get round to doing that we didn't get around to doing it and I was so nervous on the day of the show she got on that stage oh my goodness she did incredible like absolutely amazing I mean Chris both burst out crying <laughs> literally cried our eyes out sat there watching her on the stage she just looked so comfortable and so confident to a point where so many parents came over to us and going oh my gosh Esme can dance I think with, when you're performing it's so important to remember to smile but sometimes when you're concentrating so much on, on remembering your moves and you're a bit nervous about everyone watching you forget to do that but she was just beaming this big gorgeous smile the whole time and she was amazing I so wish I could have filmed that performance and shown you guys yeah she just loves it and it's a massive boost to her confidence seeing all your lovely comments on Musical.ly so I just wanted to come on and say thank you guys so much you guys must have missed me a the myth me must have missed me a lot today I've been really super busy all day getting our old house ready for handing it back this week and it's almost there just a little bit more to do tomorrow hopefully and then we should be good and then we're gonna do an empty house tour once it's all fully finished for you guys so yo definitely everyone wants to see that comment below if if you want to see an empty house tour of the old house. No, we won't be offended if you don't, but it's emotional, you know? It's the place where this, like, us and you all started, you know, back in that old house, so it's kind of special, I know. So if anyone does want to see an empty house tour, I will do one this week once the house is done and empty and all ready to go. So, yeah. On that note, guys, I've been looking through the vlog for literally the past almost an hour trying to find a question of the day, and I can't find one. I literally can't find any questions of the day from last night's or tonight's video. It's full of amazing comments, amazing comments. Lots of you guys are worried about about your SAT starting tomorrow and your GCSE starting tomorrow as well. So just from me and Sarah, huge good luck to all of you tomorrow that's starting. Any exams, your GCSEs, A-levels maybe, SATs, just remember, just do your best because that's all you can do is do your best. As long as you do your best, then whatever result comes after that is all good and don't panic and just, just be calm, be chill and do your best. That's all you can hope for. But on that note, guys, we're going to give it a good night from us, watch a bit of Netflix and go to bed. I'm super wiped out after today. Sarah's definitely all shopped out and dropped out. Anyways, guys, we will see you all tomorrow back here at 5 p.m. Don't be late. Until then, good night, guys. Hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Ingham family, like the video, and turn the post notification bell on so you will never miss a video. Bye! Mm -hmm.